Hey everybody, this video is to respond to a question I got today. Um, I don't even want to, I don't want to mess up your name, but Mr. Givens. He, he asks, uh, that is two color, how would you add a third color? So for those of you that don't know, I actually am handy. Uh, I made a video, this was a years ago, a long time ago, uh, about how to fold wall. And in this video here, you can see it here, I used two colors. I used the base Expedition Khaki for the base coat of the wall. And then I used, I can't remember the name of the color, it's some like coffee color. And I mixed it with some faux glaze. So I answered your question, uh, but I did want to give you, make a video to show you how to do it with three layers. Now, it's a little different. It's actually trickier doing it this way because I did it to a floor. Um, and I won't get into all the prep unless you want to know about that. I'll, I'll backtrack. Uh, but here, what you can see here, I start off with a base coat, a much darker base. And with me, when I fold, I try to do um, really contrasting colors. So if I do something, if the base is dark, I'll use a light color. If the base is light, I'll use a dark color to fold. Uh, the glaze is white, so it's going to lighten it up a little bit. So you don't want to go too overboard with trying to get them to match because you think, oh, this is too dark. The glaze is going to lighten it up significantly, okay? So uh, what I did here, I started with a very chocolate um, base coat. And by the way, this is cement paint. This is outdoor cement paint. Um, so I did that, you see. And, and this is how it looked once it finished like a nice brownie. Uh, and then after that, I added my second color. Now, this color is Expedition Khaki. So uh, you can see the wall here. It doesn't look like they match, but it's the same color as the wall. And I started in the pantry just because I thought, if it, this is my first time doing a floor like this, and I'm using wall paint uh, on top of the cement paint. And I thought to myself, it turns out looking like trash. You know, no one's going to see that in there, uh, but I went on ahead and, and plowed through it and kept going anyway, and, and indeed, this looks bad, uh, but it'll all come together in the end, and, th and this is why you want to do, like I mentioned in the comments, you want to go from dark to light, dark to light. So, I'm doing the light one now, and you see it looks bad. Uh, this is what it looked like, and, and it took a long time to do it, uh, and let's see, in this picture here, I want to address something about the paints that I use. So I generally use bare paint, and this was just leftover Expedition Khaki from painting the rest of the house. But I don't recommend using bare paint because while, it, while it's very high quality paint and I thoroughly enjoy it, it dries really, really fast. And when it comes to foaming, you want to have that, you want to leave, you want the paint to be wetter longer so you have more time to work with it. So as you can see here, I had these really sharp, strong lines that I don't like, uh, and that is because the paint dried and I didn't have enough time to go back and feather it. So you want to make sure you, the paint uh, doesn't dry quickly. So you can see it here. Now it kind of worked out because it looked like it's all, it looks like water lines and it's draining towards a certain area. So to me, that's a little artistic, but at the same time, those lines deeply bothered me so what i did instead of just dipping the shirt in there i used a roller to roll it and then i tried i did my best to feather the strong lines but i couldn't get to it in time it was just drying way 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 too fast so i would recommend and they may have changed their formula since 2011 but the last time i used the glidden paint from lowe's i said i'd never do it again because it took forever to dry so I would recommend doing that, going to Lowe's and getting that glitter paint or just finding something that you know lasts uh, or stays wet longer and you won't have this issue. So let's move on. So now here we are. I added a third coat. I added a third color. And on this color, this is the same color I used on the wall in the pr previous video um, in the bathroom. It was that coffee color paint. And on the floor, it turned out beautifully as you can see it doesn't have that white or that light throw up color and it hit a lot of the lines but some of the lines it, it, it didn't get rid of um, and I didn't have a problem with with feathering this 
because it had it was mixed with the faux glaze and the glaze keeps the paint wetter longer so I had more time to work with it and it turned out really nice so that's me doing the stairs so in the end this is what it looked like after I sealed it now obviously if you're doing the wall you wouldn't seal it but here's what it looks like close up and you can see so I had a closer let's do this because I had the light on it you can see all of the different colors coming through uh, and it looks like it's a lot more than three colors and here's another close-up and it looks like just you know just it looks like a rock uh, with the exception of these strong lines right there uh, again if those are feathered nicely and the paint didn't dry so quickly it would have turned out perfect but uh, ignore those little lines there I, I tried to do something artsy with that it didn't work out but and again because the paint dried so fast I would have would look nicer if I had more time to work with the paint so that is uh that is it this is how I looked in the end after I put the furniture and everything back in there and that actually FYI held up for years I did that in 2012 and we ended up selling the house in 2016 and it was still holding up fine and you so you're supposed to uh, reseal it annually but I found and I only did two coats of the seal and three coats would have been perfect and it would look like a bowling ball but uh, I would recommend doing three coats if you want to do the floor like that uh, if you don't want to fool around with epoxy uh, do three coats uh, the, because of the color I can't tell you that it would yellow or not it, it wouldn't because it's not glue it's not a, epoxy it's just glue uh, so you know and then reseal it every few years you know you should be fine I was a high traffic area too we had kids a dog and it held up fine so anyway hopefully this video was helpful and informative if you have any other questions feel free to ask in the comments and I'll address them and answer them the best I can and uh, yeah have a great day thank you for watching